What color is the moon? I asked you all this question, and I got some very interesting answers. Silver, like aluminum. Or white, like the color of clouds. Or chalky, like ash. Silver, kind of like an old coin. Or gray, like pavement. Silver, like your mother's hair. Milky, chalk. Gray, like a used eraser. White, like a diamond. But among all these varied responses and interesting comparisons, y'all pretty much agreed. The moon is a very light color, something like this. But what if I told you it was actually more like this? When our brains are trying to figure out what color something is, the first thing they do is figure out how bright it is. This side of the apple looks like a brighter color than the side away from the light. We can see that this is so, but our brains are able to take this lighting into account. We know that the whole apple is the same red. If a car drives out of a dark tunnel, we don't assume the car magically changed color because our brains correct for differences in all the light in whatever scene we're looking at. But that doesn't always work so well. Here's a white square. No, here, here's a white square. No, here's a white square. Wait a second, what is going on here? All these squares are the same. And you may have seen this famous illusion before. The two lettered squares, they're the same color. Even when the light in a scene doesn't change, the colors surrounding an object can also trick our brains. If you stare at the center of this image between the yellow and blue bars, the tiny squares look like different colors, but they're not. If our brains could make an absolute measurement of light passing through our pupils, maybe we wouldn't be tricked by these illusions. But we can't do that. Our eyes aren't cameras or light meters or that little eyedropper tool in Photoshop. As far as our brains are concerned, it's not what color something is, it's what color something appears to be. Which brings us back to the moon. The full moon gives off enough light that it can even cast shadows on the ground in a dark night here on Earth but it only looks so blindingly bright in the sky because there's nothing else nearby it to compare to except the night sky itself. Instead of measuring the absolute number and wavelength of photons the moon gives off, our eyes and brains compare the relative amounts of light given off by two or more objects within our field of view. So how bright is the moon? Not that bright. The moon only reflects about 13% of the light that hits its surface. But in the night sky, against the dark blackness of space, it's the brightest thing we can see. We say, that's white. But if we viewed the moon next to Earth under the same illumination, it would be a very dark gray, almost like an asphalt road. In fact, you can see this dark gray color in photos taken on the moon during the Apollo missions. Compared to a white spacesuit, suddenly the moon doesn't seem as bright, does it? I hope you've enjoyed this little mind bender, and that the next time you look up at the moon, you don't see it in exactly the same light. Remember, the eye and the mind work together in mysterious ways, and colors seen by candlelight will not look the same by day. Stay curious.